Hello everybody, this is ShakeVids coming at you with another video here in September, early October. Lots of interesting things happening in cryptocurrency space with yield farming, Bitcoin, and also Handshake. So HNS, here's the HNS BTC chart. It's, in a, it's been getting, the price action is getting really tight right here uh, in a tight range. So I, I'd imagine that moving forward, it's either going to break to the upside or maybe go lower, allow people to buy the dip. Anyways, in this video, I wanted to go over some of the other projects out there that are in the naming space, in the domain name space, that um, have their roots uh, in the cryptocurrency sphere. And let's we'll start off with the first one, Unstoppable Domains. I've seen this promoted, ads, stuff like that. And what they're really doing, and oh look, there's Tim Draper promoting it. I don't know if that's a good thing anymore. And they're really focused on wallets and applications. Uh, what they do is they offer uh, sub-level domains underneath the top-level domain zill, dot zill, and dot crypto. And similar to ENS, uh, what one of the things they're trying to do is replace your cryptocurrency address with a human readable name. That, that makes sense. Uh, your cryptocurrency addresses are usually pretty long, uh, bunch of letters and numbers, and so they're trying to simplify that, make it more user friendly. And what they also do is they uh, have a browser and a Chrome extension in order for you to access those domain names. The next one is ENS based on Ethereum. Probably seen people with the, these um, .eth. Um, handle uh, to social media handles. I've seen that on, on Twitter quite a bit. And what they're trying to do is, yeah, decentralized naming for wallets, websites, and more. And they offer second level domain names off of dot uh, ETH mostly. And it's similar, one of their goals is similar to uh, unstoppable domains in the sense that they want to try to simplify those uh, crypto addresses into readable names. Um, there's no to like unstoppable domains. There's just no token involved, even though it's based on Ethereum and it's focused on wallets and apps. Here's some of the wall. Yep, there's the wallets. There's the apps right here. And one of the big drawbacks that, uh, in my opinion, is there's uh, it's not really truly decentralized yet. ENS they have uh, a multi-sig setup, and I think there's seven multi-sig holders. But they've they're saying that they're going to get more decentralized over time. So let's move on to the next one. The next one is Blockstack. And Blockstack, uh, similarly, they're offering second level domains. And if I'm not mistaken too, it seems like they're trying to compete a little bit with Ethereum where they have smart contracts and they really emphasize um, having your, being able to control your own private data and identity. Even though they do have a token uh, ST, uh, K, uh, it's not needed for you to buy your own second level domain. And they're also really focused on uh, apps again. Everything you need to build decentralized apps. So that's block. So I think Unstoppable Domains and ENS and Blockstack, there's a little bit of crossover. But really, the main inspiration for Handshake, and this is crazy, everybody. This is crazy. I found this uh, earlier this week when I was doing my research on the history of, of Handshake and uh, do domain names in, in the blockchain sphere is there is a thread on bitcointalk.org and there's a person that posted his name is Satoshi you may have heard of him and what he and this is the earliest um, sort of uh, concepts that people came up with for for using uh, for decentralizing DNS and thinking of what domain names on the blockchain look like so he, uh, he or she writes, in December 2010, the incentive is to get rewards from the extra side chains also for the same work. Why, while you are generating Bitcoins, why not also get free domain names for the same work? So this is pretty crazy that actually the person that originally came up with this, the idea of domain names and using the blockchain to decentralize those was Satoshi. And the project that came out of this idea was Namecoin. 
and Namecoin was the very earliest altcoin. It was uh, launched in 2011, uh, and by the time 2013 hit, uh, you can see here was the fourth, the fourth. I know it was a different, a different time back then because you can see the market caps are so low. But Namecoin was the fourth largest coin uh, at one point, and I think it was even invented before Litecoin and and Peercoin. But the and, and so for people that are are unsure of whether Handshake can really take on, uh, re really become a very popular project and find real world use. You can see Namecoin spent its time in the top five for uh, several years. So I don't think there's any reason that Handshake, which is really a, a better version of Namecoin being a top 20 crypto project uh, in terms of market cap. And Namecoin, there, there it was similar to similar to Handshake in that they're targeting um, top level domains and they have their own token, uh, NMC, NMC. So you can see now that even though in 2013, it was the fourth um, biggest project, now it's um, ranked 630th. So it's basically, uh, it's basically at this point a, a, a dead project. And well, they have their own token, NMC, and one of the things they didn't, have is they didn't have uh, SPV proofs, which is simple payment verification, and this lets people run uh, a light uh, a light client to to verify instead of a full node. And and uh, another different another big difference in my opinion is when Namecoin was uh, originally invented, is it was so early in the cryptocurrency space. I mean, it was 2011. There was really just Bitcoin and people were just starting to explore the idea of, of altcoins. And now here we are in, in, in 2020 and people have a lot more experience and there's just the industry has grown so much that, uh, that, that, that it can be a lot more supportive to a blockchain project like Handshake. You know, for, for Namecoin, there was, no, um, there was no website like Namebase that was helping just normal people in, interact with um, uh, dom domain names and and to buy uh, the token as well and yeah and you needed to also download special software in order to access uh, this this uh, the the domain names that Namecoin was offering so again super super interesting that really this whole idea of domain names in the blockchain started with Satoshi back in 2010 and you can see the concept he mentions. Uh, the Merkle tree, which is included in uh, uh, Handshake. And yeah, it's just really, really uh, interesting. And it, it, it really, I think it just really, uh, as I've d delved into the history of Handshake and Namecoin, it just makes me really bullish that really Handshake is going to kind of take the torch from Namecoin and I think really uh, accomplish what Namecoin originally set out to do, which was uh, de uh, decentralizing uh, those top level domains, that root zone file. And yeah, so that's the video guys. Um, give it a like, uh, subscribe. Uh, again, we got some interesting times ahead the next few months with uh, the price action. Uh, I've also been bidding on domain names and every single week it gets a little bit more competitive. Every single week there's more and more handshake being burned uh, as well. So yeah, I'll check you guys out uh, in the next video.